Everyone, Zeddy here again with yet another Festival Legends card review. Hope you guys enjoyed the little news video earlier about the like teased buffs and all of that. But we have some Warrior and Mage cards, or singular at least for Warrior, to go over. Is Warrior saved? Is this legendary spell going to save Warrior? Well, people are pretty upset about it. I'll get my take on it, and by the way, if you haven't heard, we have a giveaway going on on the channel. We're giving away two pre-orders, three mega bundles from Festival of Legends out of my pocket. All you have to do is like and comment in the video description below. Be subscribed to the channel every thousand subs. We are halfway through the next 1,000 already. That is insane. If we get to the next 1,000, I've got to add another mega bundle. So hit that sub button, make me go broken. Yes, we have one warrior card to review. But my God, <laughs> it's a doozy and the memes are a plenty. People are upset because Warrior got Blackrock and Roll, as I tweeted out pretty much right when this was revealed. Well, this is a card. What astute analysis, but I've had some time to think about it. This card's been out for a little bit, but I didn't want to like put a video out at two in the morning of just one card. Uh, I was th I thought about it. Well, don't get don't get me wrong, but we're gonna talk about it now. Black Rock and Roll give all minions in your deck uh, in your deck attack and health equal to their cost. It's five mana. It's a fire spell. When I first read it you know, classic Zeddy reading. I'm like, you. S I, I assumed you set your minions to that. I'm like, why would I want to make my nine mana minion a nine nine? Like, how is that a high roll, right? But no, what it does is it adds the stats. So if it's a seven drop, it gets plus seven, plus seven on top of whatever. So like for Mornia, the rush uh, weapon slash minion card, it's a five ten. it becomes a 12 17 if my math is correct if you play something like trench stalker the nine mana i believe eight nine beast that hits three different enemies all of a sudden that has 15 attack and probably like murders what it plays so this like is ridiculous to me this card is ridiculous when played on curb and you survive like a turn or two it's like to me a luna's pocket galaxy it's keleseth on steroids it's a Hyrule card, it's a scam card. So am I a fan of this style of card? I've never really been a fan of this style of card, but they've been powerful at times. They've been useless at times. We've seen like Deck of Chaos, which got buffed for Warlock, which like swapped the health and cost of cards. Never saw play Lady in White, which like inner fired all your cards in the deck. That was a priest card with six mana. This type of card historically has either been broken or useless. There's not much in between on it. Like Luna's Pocket Galaxy set your minions to one, but that, you know, saving like a billion mana typically is worth a lot more than adding a billion stats, right? Like you can only play the one thing or do the one thing. So it's a tough card to evaluate. I, I have evaluated that you can get this because this, unlike the other, I think only the Death Knight and uh, the Rogue Legendary spell, you can randomly get this. So Jackpot and Trickster and all of that shenanigans. Um, but is this a good enough card for Warrior? We It's the only Warrior card we've seen. So it's really hard to evaluate. It is a fire spell, which does have some synergy with like Thori Belor and like that Fire and Rage package, but none of those those are like cheap minions that you don't really want to buff. And if you play this, you're not going to buff them by much. You really need to hit like a big ass rusher, a charger, like Ramornia, something like that. And because it only hits the minions in your deck, you know, you're kind of limited and you don't draw this early. It's basically just not going to be good enough. I, I feel like it's going to have a really high play win rate, but I feel like the deck win rate on this card, this type of card for five mana, do nothing. And unless there's something that really goes along with it, where you can tutor it, like draw fire spell, you know, some scam with it that makes it a bit more consistent than just playing it, which we'll see. I'm going to give it a two out of five in standard and wild. Even if you could play it, Odd Warrior and buff your Baku plus nine plus nine. Baroken! But yeah, um, I don't see it as it currently stands. Maybe I'll bump it up as we see more Warrior cards. But with Warrior in such a rough state uh, to get like a card like this, it's purely scam based. There's no way around it. It's a scam card. And, um, you know, it's not going to help with consistency. Consistency. It's if it's broken like a pocket galaxy, I guess Warrior is saved, but I'm not totally convinced and uh, very curious to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. And next we have the Mage Legendary card reveal. This is the first and only Mage card I believe revealed so far from Festival Legends, but it's the return of Millhouse Manastorm. 
but now he's a DJ. He's 10 mana. He's an 8-8, eight, eight. not great, but we got more mana cheat. As, well, it's just like the, this set, I, I mean, the cards are something. I don't know if I'm liking the design like at all, but there's a lot of mana cheat. Battle Cry, you set the cost of spells in your hand to zero. After you cast one, the others cost one more. So you can play DAJ Mana Storm, play a Pyroblast that turn uh, in Wild Puzzle Box, or I guess Rune of the Archmage, which is rotating to Wild, or whatever big spell. You got the uh, eight mana summon taunts, and boom, that's zero mana. The next turn, since you've spent 10 mana, your next spell will presumably cost one, then two, then three, then four, then five, then six, and then I guess it progressively goes up till they all cost 10. I would imagine, because it, it just says after, set the cost of spells in your hand, after you cast one, the other ones cost one more, but it's only the ones in your hand, right? So that'll be weird how it looks. Um, like if you have, I mean, you're not gonna be playing this with cheap spells, but regardless, what a bizarre, ridiculous card. We haven't had a mill house in Hearthstone that I'm aware of, I know he's in Battlegrounds, but that I'm aware of since the OG two mana four four neutral mill house that made your opponent's spells cost zero that turn, right? So it's like, you know, flavorful, it's the reverse of it. Just wait till I have 10 mana. The flavor's amazing, but the mass mana cheat of it all, it'll be interesting to see how this one plays out because it's not 10 mana do nothing, right? You can, unlike Calagos, um, well actually Calagos you play, you can do it unless you coin it out. But regardless, you can play one free spell and then the next turn, you're kind of off to the races depending on what massive scams you can do. So again, you have to survive to 10, right? You have to survive to 10, unless there's some way of cheating this out. You can't really ramp in mage. It's, it's, I, I, I just don't know. I don't know how to evaluate this. I'll give it a three because it is mass mana cheat. You stall to it and then you do something broken over like a few turns. But it, again, it's one of these really scam. The design of this set is really scammy, really high rolly, lots of mana cheat, lots of you really need to draw a particular order. Maybe we'll talk about that in the video this weekend when there's no card reveals. But overall, I I'm gonna give it a three out of five in standard. I feel like that much mana cheat is just kind of nutty, right? And you can coin it out, things like that, where we've seen, but it's 10 mana. Like that's, it, you gotta get to 10 mana. I'm gonna give it like the most optimistic three, but it probably isn't even that. It's probably terrible, really. I don't know. And it's a battle cry too, right? Like there is like, you know, st stolen out of your hand somehow, disrupted, it doesn't work. It's a weird one. I will give it a three out of five in standard. It's probably way too damn slow. In wild, you have like looted. I guess you play this if you're playing Pocket Galaxy in a greedy Pocket Galaxy. You might as well run DJ Mana Storm, right? Why not? But yeah, you uh, you get several high cost cards out for cheap, as the article says, over multiple turns. Um, we're losing a lot of the good big spells too, like that. Uh, thank goodness uh, the nine mana box is leaving, but. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about these two cards. Pretty ridiculous. Uh, both really high rolly, really scammy, and I'm not sold on either being amazing, but you never know. Anyways, we should have one more card review later today. I believe there's Warrior and Demon Hunter cards later. So two more classes to cover, hopefully more than two cards this time, but you never know. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.